Man, how many clamps can you get on a 23 inch scale neck? one is tuned, well I haven't played it in a while, but it's tuned to uh, open E. And so I wanted to kind of talk about this, these floating bridges. I kind of migrated to using the hardtail bridge. If you watch my, my uh, channel a lot, you'll, you'll notice that most, almost all of my builds are, are, with, the, are with the hardtail bridge. Um, I like it because you can get the action just right. Uh, there's some, you know, cons to using one of those as well and one of them is you know finding the exact location to put the hardtail bridge um, so that you can get it properly intonated there's only so much forward and back adjustment um, and so you got to get it in the exact right spot and i don't know if it's just me or the way i build them but uh you know the size the size of strings i have on here and i uh, have the the spot I know how far back to put it for tuning to G, but it seems like when I try to tune an instrument to anything else, I can't get it intonated. I need to move the strings further back or something like that, and I just run out of adjustment. So that's where this floating bridge comes in. Uh, if you get one of these, uh, now it's a little harder, or a little more difficult, I should say, to uh, get your action just right, uh, but, the cool thing about it is if you change the string size or any of that stuff, you have, you know, you could move this thing up and down as much as you, you know, as much as you need to just about to, to get it intonated properly. So that's the reason why this is, this one's tuned to E. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously you could, you could tune it to G and you may have to adjust this bridge to get the intonation just right. Um, but very easily done with something like this so I, I still i still have hard nail bridges i plan on uh using them in a lot of builds but i'm also trying to uh or uh venturing into you doing more uh builds with uh with floating bridges and so i've kind of i've kind of cut this little design out in my laser so these there's two pieces here that just kind of uh, nest into each other in a piece of piece of rod you know uh, that that's working for now uh, still still exploring other other things you know I've, I've made other ones where you cut them out of a solid block and just shape them and put like a fret or something in there but I wanted to try that um, so now that I've got my uh, wiring issue fixed on this box I'm gonna put that joker together and then uh, I'll let you get a look, a good look at, at both of these, and uh, we'll make this a a quick uh, video. All right, I think I got this uh, grounding issue worked out on this thing. So I'll give you a look at it. Mm. This thing down. And there we go. So this is the leather rose. And like I said, uh, I didn't put the uh, covers on or the ring. All right, apologies. Uh, my, uh, my camera stopped on me, dagummit. Woo. All right, so I didn't put the, the ring around the pickups. Actually, these uh, pickups are in the box lower than the rings would stick up higher than the pickups. I, I definitely didn't want them on here. Uh, so I got a rear pickup, you know, a bridge pickup, a neck pickup, and a, and a three-way switch. And so earlier when I uh, put this thing on, here we go, this is the, this is the uh, bridge. This is the neck. And this is the middle. Uh, yeah, so I, 
always always test your work and i usually i mean i tested it after i soldered it up and it worked just fine but when i glued it down i actually i accidentally pushed a piece up against uh, the switch here uh pushed the ground wire up against the switch and uh grounded it out and had i tested it after i glued it which you know you're not making any connection so why you need to test it well because you're moving stuff around and you probably may have grounded out a wire which is what i did uh so anyway She's worked out so no build video on either one of these uh guitars but i just wanted to kind of just give you a good look at them uh, i got this uh nice hinge on the back here the only reason why i did that i like the through the box design myself but i use this entire box you can see where the bridge is and i just felt like if i went straight down even all the way back here i don't know i think it i think the, the tension may have tried to push or would have tended to push the bridge forward uh, so that's why i opted for this uh for this here so i ended up incorporating the strap button in it got the nice uh, jack i kind of aged them and painted them and messed with them just to make them max match the box i got corners on here this thing is this thing is nice uh it has uh copper bronze lock and tuners you know and i always like to do the the wings now i made this a little bit you know compared to some of my other boxes this is a little slimmer design but uh man or my other necks i guess i should say so <laughs> so there you go this is the leather rose she uh sounds really awesome uh the strings on this too uh uh I should point out our uh, 42, uh, 32, and then this is a 22 plane, this uh, top string. sounds good uh no sound holes so you know it's an electric guitar but i mean it's plenty loud without the you know without the amp to play but you know two pickups and all that i gotta go back and re make some of those adjustments to these pieces here i'm seeing this is just sticking up it's starting to bother me so i'm pushing it back in but anyway so uh there you go this is uh this is number uh, 104. Number 104. Uh, let me grab this. Uh, oh, and I said earlier, I think I said I was going to tune it to E. I tuned it to E and then... Uh, as I was messing with it and trying to get it intonated, I, uh, I tuned it to G. So this is uh, tuned to open G, but it's got the floating bridge and you can basically tune it to whatever you want. And actually, yeah, when I had it tuned to E, I had to pull this uh, bridge back a little further. Uh, the only reason why I know that is because when I put it to G, I ended up having to move uh, 
move it forward a little bit more to get it intonated. But you can uh, you can tune these things however you want to your heart's desire. Uh, and then with this uh, three-way switch, you got lots of options. Three-way switch and a tone knob. Awesome, awesome guitar. These leather roses, they usually don't last too long. Uh, I try to keep the, the face logo. I broke into the web a little bit, but uh, that was kind of by design. I think that copper bronze just sets this whole thing off. Man, this thing is nice. I gotta put a hook on it still. Can't even hang it up. Dang it. All right, here's this uh, shade box. Let me uh, check the tune on it. inch scale this thing is cool man it look it's got this uh, two-piece uh, maple fretboard um, and the walnut I just like that uh, the way that that all of those different pieces of wood set it off this this headstock too for this 23 inch scale it's huge it looks big man but ah, I like it uh, but anyway because of the box I figured I would go uh, 23 inch scale not something I normally do and I ended up getting uh, all 24 frets on here. I believe 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 for 22 for 3 for 4. Yep, all 24 frets on here and this thing is man I like it um, I usually for some reason I I, uh, I think I just got used to building 25 inch scale instruments and so that's kind of all I normally do um, I have done some 23 inch scale instruments before and uh, this one uh, this I think this box was just calling for that scale so that's what I did but uh, this is this is really cool just got a top of the box uh, pickup right here in the bridge ish position uh same thing man i think it's cool uh this is kind of why i did this i brought the fretboard all the way in right to this design and i put the pickup right there to that design just to kind of you know play off on it and then you got this bridge right here in the middle of this paper with the tone knob or with the volume knob it's really cool really cool uh really cool little guitar man this was uh this was fun to build i just kind of every time i look at the headstock on this thing man i'm like <laughs> because it's almost as big it feels like it's almost as big as the box but uh man two cool builds this is a quick video uh i just kind of wanted to give everybody a uh, a shot at this a shot of these and you know have a sound sample to put on my uh channel because uh so when i list these on the site I know it's been a while, it's been my fault. Uh, obviously it's my fault for not posting videos in a, in a while, but uh, 
my brother came for a visit, so uh, uh, I was kind of obviously wasn't doing any uh, videos uh, during that week or doing doing much building or anything like that. And I got to catch up on a lot of yard work. That's why I got this shirt on today. <laughs> had to take care of some business out there get the yard taken care of so uh i still haven't forgot about i still have this cohiba it's not listed on my site and i will be uh posting another separate video about this cohiba so if you made it this far into this video uh you're really cool and uh thank you <laughs> and thanks for checking out this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one I'm out.